Hi, this is Pastor John Stanko, and we are coming to you this week uh, through pre-recording because we, as usual, have a pretty full ministry schedule face-to-face, -face. but uh, maybe you're watching us through social media and you may not even understand what I just said. But anyway, what I do want to say is I've got a very special guest, my colleague, my friend, Pastor Blaine Workman. We, we have had more fun than two people should be allowed to have in ministry, and so Blaine, uh, it's good to have you. Uh, Thank you. Uh, real quick, uh, you, you've been here forever. How, how, uh, give us a little bit of history of how long you've been at ACAC. Well, Lynn and I moved to the north side 31 years ago. I start, uh, started attending at that time. I uh, have been on staff for the last 13 years. And actually, it's great to share this stage, this platform again with you, John. I, I, I just enjoy this moment. Well, thank you. And we are certainly appreciative of all you and your family have done, the role that you have played. This is a pretty exciting time with Expanded Influence, isn't it? It really is. It, I, I have to say it's been an exciting ride for the last three decades. Mm -hmm. But this is one of the most exciting times, I think, to be a part of this church family that I can remember. Yeah. And we, I was at a meeting earlier this week, and I mean, the energy, the excitement, the enthusiasm, people connecting yeah. you know, with one another, it's just really, really quite special. Now, we want to hone in a little bit. In the past, we've talked about parking, and, okay. and in one of the interviews, uh, Keith Turnbull just said, we've, you know, we ask sometimes our people to do a lot in connecting with ministry. I want to talk today specifically about the hub, the campus, bricks and mortar, which is not always everybody's favorite. Talk to us about how you're seeing this and maybe give us some practical insights into what we can be expecting. But more importantly, why? Why the need for the bricks and the mortar? Yeah, well, if you think about the parking garage on the back parking lot, the hub building is really conceived as a, a building in our, on our visitor's parking lot that connects all of the other buildings on our campus. Mm -hmm. And when I think about the why of the hub building, uh, there are really three things that come to mind. The first is there's, there's, a, there's an imperative that we have. We're losing our space for children's ministry in four Allegheny Center across the street. Now, the, the health system, Allegheny Health System, is the master tenant. They've been very gracious to us. Do you know every other tenant in that four Allegheny Center building has, been, uh, has lost their lease? And that space has been taken over by the health system. But they value what we do over there with children. And so we've been given great grace in that. But they want that space on the sure. third floor. Right. It's the, 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 for their business. That's exactly. That's why they have the building. Uh, and so we need to make a move. We need to replace that ministry space for children somewhere. And it makes sense on our campus. So that's the first reason uh, we have to do that. But a second reason that I think is just as significant is the reality that our campus is so complex. Uh, picture yourself as a first time uh, guest here with a family. You have uh, infants down in the nursery in the basement of our main building. Your young children are across the street in four Allegheny Center. Where traffic is coming and going. You've got to cross a, a, a busy street. Then you've got to get teenagers over here to our white side building over here. And finally, the adults are worshiping in the sanctuary. By the time they get to the sanctuary, the message has started. Mm -hmm. uh, it really is incredibly complex. And I think those of us who have been here for a long time, like you and I have, we just lose sight of that. Mm -hmm. One of the things this hub will do is simplify that experience for everyone who comes to ACAC. Park in the back lot, uh, under roof, move inside the building into a main lobby in the center of our campus. And from that place, you can see where every member of the family will be worshiping and, and easily get your family members there. So the simplicity will just be an incredible blessing. And the last reason I would say, John, is just to, to be the best stewards that we can, even of our existing spaces. So we have a whole building, the Whiteside building, none of which is handicapped accessible. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we have a variety of spaces like that that are limited in their use. And this hub building and the campus redesign will really uh, take us to a place where all of our spaces 
on campus can be used to their to their to the fullest extent mm -hmm. many of these spaces will be redesigned to be multi-use spaces have a use on sunday morning maybe for growth groups and uh, but then in the week service counseling rooms and so so really looking at our campus and our existing spaces and saying how can we be the very best stewards of these resources and i think uh, pastor blaine uh, we open our buildings at 7 or 8 in the morning and they close at 10 or 11 at night. They, right. are, they are used. This isn't a weekend event. This is right. something we use Monday through Sunday. I'm thinking about Union Place when we purchased that, how our ministry increased and ratcheted up. Yes. When we went to a fifth, a sixth service, our ministry increased. This is really about ministry, isn't it? it? It absolutely is about ministry, and it's not just about ministry now, but it's about preparing for ministry in the next generation. What does the next season of ministry at ACAC look like? And this is really preparing us for that next season.